Hello, hello, and good evening to most people, actually, because it is late for me, um, both in actual time and time for me to be live, uh, which is going to take some getting used to, I think, but I wanted to start doing a later stream, and here we are, with a later stream. Um, but this will actually be a regular thing. Because I have finally set myself up with a stream schedule. Uh, but we'll talk more about that once people have had a chance to, once more people have had a chance to come in and get themselves sorted and all that. But for now, let's actually play some Subnautica. Because that's what people are here for. And I really need to stop starting there. It's very loud over there. Actually. Rather loud. Ooh. Uh, so apparently shift makes me just kind of swing that back out. Who knew? Uh, this is actually a really pretty view. I I put this window in, never actually bothered to look out of it. I mean, the fartfish kind of detracts from it, but apart from that, it's very pretty. Anyway, we're getting distracted already. We're only five minutes in. I don't think we're even five minutes into the actual stream. We're just... I, I for, for the record, I am just wandering around whilst I ramble. Um, I will not apologise for this behaviour. Now, today, we are going to be investigating something that I discovered a couple of, st uh, a couple of uh, streams ago within the game. Um... And then never really did anything with. And that, if I go to the surface, I've gone the... There's a door over here. I am so organised. I believe it is in that direction. Over there. Uh, no, I want to climb up onto it. Don't want to use it. Over in that direction is the island with the enforcement platform. We want to go over there because we found what I am calling a Stargate. It's not a Stargate. I don't believe that's the official term, at least. But it might as well be a Stargate, considering what it looked like and how it worked. So it's a Stargate. For all intents and purposes, all we really care about is it's a Stargate. Um, for anyone paying attention to my... Uh, Health and food and thirst. Yes, I am dehy I am starting to get quite dehydrated. But this is the wrong one. I did do some collection before I went live. Just to make sure that I had some water. I'm going to use it very quickly because it only restores 20 at a time. And you lose it incredibly quickly. I also need something to eat, so... Sustenance, cooked food, cooked whole fish. Can't imagine why it's called that. Definitely nothing to do with the fact that it's a fish with a hole in it. Well, that didn't restore very much. Alright. We're not going to ramble for very long. We're going to go up here. To the sea moth. Just double check, I actually. A couple of first aid kits. Some fully charged batteries. Some nutrient blocks. And some water. Emergency rations. I should probably actually take some water and food with me. I have no idea how long I'll be away. <laughs> Perhaps never go hiking with me. I don't think that would be the most safe decision. A um, couple of everything. Quickly get it all cooked off. It would be nice if you could speed this up somehow, because having to do everything individually and wait for the animation every time is... It does make food quite slow. Hello, mini packs. I I was not expecting this. This is a complete and utter surprise to me. There's, I was never expecting something like this. <laughs> it's come as a complete and utter shock. Uh, am I convincing? Was I convincing enough there? <laughs> uh, hello, everyone. Um, hope we're all doing well. 
Uh, can Cosmic, I'm going to specifically ask you, can you please give a shout out to Mini Packs? Because I doubt they will give one to themselves. Um, and they absolutely deserve one because they are a fantastic streamer who deserves all the love. Uh, and yeah, thank you for raiding. I'm going to bring that screen up because it's far more interesting than a menu. Uh, and say hello, Lewis, Mini Packs, of course. Cosmic, the wonderful Cosmic Dancer, Storm Dance, True Purple, uh, Firepower, first time chat, welcome on in, and Mythical Star, the lovely Mythical Star. It is. <laughs> mini Packs gets the Cosmic shout out before Cosmic can get the Mini Packs shout out. Well, how else would this day get any more topsy turvy for me? Um, for anyone not in the know, it's a Saturday. It is the second Saturday I have not had a job. It feels weird. And I wasn't even going to be working any. I wasn't going to be working regardless today. I'd booked today off before I made the decision to leave um, for Minecraft Live that was earlier today, and um, I thought it was actually very. Just wait for that to kind of settle itself down. <laughs> no cosmic i will i will be exceptionally demanding of you right i want to turn down game sounds very slightly because uh no they're in general because i was finding that a little loud i don't know how it was for you guys but for me it was a little too loud right we want to go this way i think i'm hoping it's this way <laughs> If it's not this way, I'm going to be very embarrassed. I might have a waypoint. Uh, I'm not actually sure. Because I don't think... Uh, yeah, no. That's a different waypoint. That's something else. It's this way. <laughs> yes, uh, I... My sense of direction could be better. I, I will be the first to admit. Uh, but I'm fairly certain it's past the kelp forest that has a name that I'm blanking on. And apparently I can just sail through the kelp. This is new. I mean, I suppose it makes sense. But I can harvest this stuff. So you'd expect it to be solid. Apparently not. Um, I hope we're all doing well. I hope everyone's doing well. Um... Minipax, I was in and out of your stream, so what exactly were you doing today? Uh, it looked like... I think I crashed into a fish. Uh, so what exactly were you doing? It looked like something to do with your tree. Uh, <laughs> step out of your house, shut the door, and someone immediately goes, uh, How do I get to here? Oh, sorry, I'm not from around here. But you were just leaving a house. Oh, it's not my house. Right. Now, I think this is the island we were looking for. It's an island, that's for sure. This is an island. I'm so smart. I was messing... Messing. Uh, that's my list. Ah, we're in the right place. Messing with shrooms and armor stands mostly, making my blue shrooms brown. Uh, blue shrooms. That. Blue shrooms sounds like it should be the name for something that isn't a mushroom, but I couldn't tell you what. Right, get my thermo blade out because I know there are crabs in the area. Uh, got the beacon for the seamoth. <laughs> uh, I have done something so, uh, akin to that. Uh, fortunately, living with my parents grants me the power to say, sorry, the homeowner's not in uh, whenever someone comes calling. Even if they don't want the homeowner, I just say, I just say the homeowner's not in. Right. Now I need to remember how to get to the Stargate. Which I think is just a case of follow this path round. Uh, yes, eggs. Um, eggs are wonderful, especially now that we are confirmed to have the sniffer in Minecraft. Sorry, I have to stop and think about it because my brain always goes Sniffler with an L. But it's not. It's the Sniffer without an L. What is that? I never actually 
looked on this side of the island very much. So, what is this? It is lead that requires special equipment to collect this resource. But we can get some from there. Oh, that's... Oh my, what is that? What the fuck is that? Oh, it's gone for another fish. That teleported. Um, I'm hoping that thing will leave me alone because... Uh, I don't know what swam over me, but it seems to have left me alone. What is this? Uh, scanner. Cyclops engine fragment. Oh, we want this. Apparently, that was the last thing. That was the last thing we needed. Right, let's surface. Because if that was the last thing we needed... Blueprints. Um, down, down, down. Machines. Mobile vehicle bay. I didn't realise that we had the prawn soup now. Um, Cyclops! We've got the submarine for the Cyclops! Uh, it's not cheap! <laughs> oh dear lord, it's not cheap. That's just the lad in gold in there. Right. I know this is not what I said I was going to do, but I'm curious. Mainly about this thing. Uh, hello? Warper. Please don't be hostile. Please don't be hostile. Uh, okay. It doesn't seem to be hostile. Out the water, out the water. Okay, indigenous life forms, Fornuk. It was a kind of an aggressive creature with the ability to teleport itself and others in space. No genetic crossover identified. No recognised defensive behaviour. Whether organic or artificial in nature. Further assessment required. Yeah, fuck that. Uh, Snuffler. Snuffler's a good name for it. Uh, there's something purple over here, and we like purple. What is the purple? The purple is a gel sack. Well, we'll take it. And then we're going to go down towards the fucking terrifying thing. Try to remember which button is down in swimming. Um, further assess it. No! Did that just swim out of the rock? Right, we're leaving because I don't want to piss that thing off and I have a feeling I'm going to by being anywhere near it. Knowing my luck, I'm going to have to go down there at some point for a resource, aren't I? Going to take a screen break, pop you on the TV in the background. No worries, Mini Packs. Yeah, you go and take your screen break. You absolutely deserve it. You are an incredibly hard worker on Infinity Cove. Um, folks, once again, if you're not following mini packs, make sure you go and do so because they deserve every single one of you to be following them. Uh, they are our tech expert on Infinity Cove, and without them, that server probably wouldn't be functioning as well as it does. Thank you for the second shout out, Cosmic. Always on the ball. Even when I shout and call you out, you're still on the ball. Uh, torch. Now, if memory serves, it was down. Uh, I mean, there is water in there, but I feel like I shouldn't jump. I feel like jumping would be a bad idea, so let's try going the other way. Uh, shale outcrop, lithium. We always want more lithium. This is just a rock. Uh, hmm. Which way from here? This way? This way takes us back outside. So I don't think it's this way. 
maybe if we follow the alien wiring and plinths. Go on then, hey crap, bring it on! Bring it on! Yeah, that's what I thought. Not taking any crap from any of you today. Uh, what's this? Pink caps and speckled speckled rattlers, whatever those are. What on earth was that? Some kind of moth thing. Okay. Now we're going up the mountain. And we're back outside again. Hmm. This sort of feels right and also wrong. We'll keep going. We might find where we're looking for. Oh, there's more cave here. Bit of salt. No, nope, that's a dead end. I've just realised that I should probably have charged this torch before I set off, considering it's at 22%, and it's getting dark. Which, we don't like darkness. We don't like darkness here. Hmm. This way. There we go. Uh, was, was that the gold? Um... Thanks, Cosmic. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Feeling. Uh, speckled Rattler. Let's scan you. There we go. Anything else interesting? Uh, a drop. I swear he doesn't normally make that noise when I jump. Uh, right, we'll go and take a quick look at the drop first, and then we're going to go through there. I did go through there when I found it, but I went straight back through. I didn't really spend much time exploring, so because we were on a time limit at the time. A time limit at the time. I am, I am a good Englisher. This cave is actually really big. Uh, which makes me very apprehensive. Uh, this way. Downside of sprinting is it pulls the torch down. So I can't actually see. At what time were you at the time of the time in the time? Uh, the word time is lo losing all meaning. Uh, yeah. Oh, dear. That actually damaged me. I hear something. Where are you? I hear you. There you are. Uh, why are you green? I can't scan it. Hmm. The fact that you're green is concerning. As we go deeper and deeper into this cave. Uh, deeper and deeper and deeper. This cave goes on for fucking ages. Uh, yeah, no, this this cave is apparently never ending. Uh, this one is not green. I don't know if I should be worried about the fact that I killed. What? what? There we go. Whoa! There's another one. Oh! Actually hitting me. Okay, so we've come back out onto the outside of the island. Um... Oh, one of these pink ha one of these pink tablets, uh, purple tablets. Sorry. Well, we will take that. 
and we will go back into the scary caves. And my torch is going to die when we're in the scary cave. Oh, that's just my luck, isn't it? Um, this way? You know, I have a tool. Granted, I don't know if I have it on me. No, I do. I have a tool on me that is supposed to be used for navigating caves. And I didn't, and I haven't used it. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. R, no. R. Unload battery. I didn't bring any batteries with me. They're all in the... Seek fluid intake. Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah, all my um, batteries are in the uh, Seamoth. <laughs> oh dear. I'm sorry, the next part of this stream is going to be very hard for, for you to see. But it, if it makes you feel any better, it's hard for me to see. Uh, ah! Here we are. This is what we're looking for. Um, I guess... Uh, I think we just walk straight through. Yep. And the first thing we are going to do, figure out how to place a beacon. Uh, I don't know how to place a beacon. I assume there is a way. Um... Tools. No. Uh, equipment. Still no. Power. Sun. Maybe there isn't a way to place beacons. I assumed there was. Okay. That's awkward. Why did it suddenly go gr dark? Oh, because it's actually night time, I guess. Right, how do we get out of this one? Uh, this way? Huh? 2,000 metres away. Okay. Duly noted that swimming back will be a chore. Uh, yeah, it looks like I've chosen the right direction. A lot of mushrooms here. A lot of mushrooms. And we're going to leave them there because some of them appear to glow and we like bioluminescence. Um, wait a second. thinking this was going to be this big, cool, unexplored area. No, we've been to this island before. <laughs> this is the other island. This is the one where we were supposed, where we went when we got the rendezvous contact. Uh, yeah, it's the one with the building, the rusted buildings. Oh, bollocks. I feel dumb. I feel dumb now. I didn't realise it was so far away. 
Okay. Well, whilst we're here, we might as well see if I missed anything last time. Apparently, I haven't scanned Jaffa Cakes. Jaffa Cakes. Uh, a Ming plant. Uh, that doesn't have an identification. Let's self-scan as we walk. Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing, detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Okay, that's useful to know. I wish there was a use for these things, but there doesn't seem to be. They seem to just be a thread. That's what it said! A Ming plant. Torch isn't working, don't know why I bothered switching to it. I'm trying to find something of interest on this island. But I think the only stuff structures of interest are like that building over there, which we've been to. Uh, thanks. I'm aware of what Ming can mean. So I'm going to take it as a very strange compliment. Uh, I'm doing well, Sveddy. How are you doing? Hope you're doing good. Um, I don't know if I went into that upper section. Let's find out. Uh, oh. Let me in! Oh, I did not. Integrating new PDA data. Um, here! Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Mida, the cut price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had made a salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Maida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not going to weaken her life without a physical altercation and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. This planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months, or even years. Well, that wasn't dramatic. Um, wrong button. <sighs> Never learn. Escape is not the button I need. Um, we were that insurance company, for anyone wondering. Uh, the ship we were on was the insurance company, or was sent by the insurance company, rather, to rescue them. Uh, battery! Please be charged. Yes! <laughs> there we go! <laughs> Seaside living with an ocean view. Find the Degassi habitat on the floating island. I mean, I don't think I needed specifically that PDA data to get that, um, vo uh, to get that adv achievement, but I did. when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? You know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boys like with you today? 
If tomorrow you're gonna be so hungry you start wondering what it tastes like, let him go deal with the plant. Son, go deal with the plant. And when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. And no staying here neither. This rain keeps falling, sooner or later this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. So that's in. Yep, yeah, yeah, okay. Sorry, computer. Uh, ah. Didn't mean to drop it. Consume. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh dear, they've rotted in. That's unfortunate. They've all started rotting. Um, yeah, I would if I could. Slight issue with that plan though. Um, uh, I can't get through that door. Okay, so I'm going to die of thirst, <laughs> apparently, uh, because I, there's no way I can swim back there before uh, I run out of water, and I'm not sure I can find my way back to the Stargate. This could be problematic. I didn't expect the food to rot. I forgot that was a thing. <laughs> um, right, let's see if we can find our way back to the cavern. Hopefully we can. Uh, otherwise, I am screwed. Uh, fortunately, my inventory is fairly chocker with random bits, and you tend to drop just some pieces in your inventory. Ooh. Vital signs stabilizing. I found a solution to my problem. <laughs> right, let's go and explore. You're right, Cosmic, I will be fine. <laughs> right. Yeah, so it's interesting they're complaining about the rain, because I haven't experienced anything but daylight and night time since I got here. I haven't experienced any weather whatsoever. And yet, they're talking about rain. Um, ah, oh, that's a window. Hmm. Right. Let's go back in there again, see if there was anything else of note. That. Hmm. Back in through here. That's the rock that's blocking it. That's the food that I threw on the floor. Doesn't look like there's anything else in this one. Hmm. Keep exploring. I like the music. It's just the right mixture of eerie and um, mysterious. I don't know if I went up to both mountain peaks. So let's try it. Uh, wow. That is actually quite impressive. And we're not going to be going there anytime soon. Because the last time I went behind that thing. There was a massive ass fish. That chewed up my sea moth. Thankfully didn't destroy it. Um, lantern fruit. Grub basket. I wonder what this is a basket for. Uh, no, that's everything. I've definitely already been here because the supply crate's been opened. Stasis rifle fragment. Oh, we want that. Apparently, I already have the stasis rifle blueprint. Blueprints. Tools. Stasis rifle. Yes, I already have the blueprint, I just don't have the stuff for it. 
Uh, we'll have to get that at some point. Freezes physical objects in place. Hate it when the fish chew up my moth. <laughs> magnetite. I don't know how to get magnetite, I don't think. Um, Gassy survivors. Coral? No, not coral. Um, blueprints, equipment, stasis rifle. No, that's not. Geological data. No. Nothing about magnetite. Not very surprising. Flying creatures. Right. Uh, other mountain. I think that's all there is. I think it's just up here, down there, and then over there. I haven't seen anything else. I don't recall there being anything else here last time. I feel like I'm going to slide if I'm not too careful. Um, yeah, no, that appears to be it. I suppose it makes sense. You wouldn't want to spread, have your resources too spread out, even on an island this small. You'd want everything to be kind of close quarters. The moon moves so quickly. Uh, I'm hoping that's the reflection of the moon and not a giant ass sea creature because that's terrifying if it's a sea creature. Uh, I think we can safely sprint because we've got those trees down there that we can go down to if we need to. I assume sprinting lowers my food and water faster. That would make sense. Uh, right. We're going off-road, folks! Uh, uh, through a cave. And then... Somewhere there's a way up. Uh, here it is. We found it! <laughs> that was actually surprisingly easy. Uh, this way? Well, this is a way. I don't know if it's the way. Uh, it's a bit precarious. It makes you wonder how they got up here to begin with. Uh, but, I mean, I'm managing it, so I suppose they could. I'm not seeing anything worth scanning, so I'm guessing I've been here before. Might as well eat that. Oh, I can eat the gel sack. I didn't even realise. And <sighs> the fact that most of the food takes up four slots is actually really quite annoying, because it makes carrying it around incredibly difficult. Oh, that's high. Hey, Addy, how are you? We weren't talking like half an hour ago. Well, we weren't because I was streaming half an hour ago. We weren't talking 45 minutes ago or anything, but how are you doing in those 45 minutes? And how do I get back to those caves I was in? Because I want to go back. Because we've now got a new goal in mind. Because the Stargate proved to be completely redundant. <laughs> um, so I think the cave was in this mountain. Whoa! Okay. Oh. That was barely three meters. Huh? You big baby. Thermal blade's far more interesting underwater because it's actually boiling the water around it. Huh? Um, cave, 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 cave. This way? We'll try this way. Try not to fall in the water, though. I don't want to have to try and climb my way back up onto the island. That's not going to be fun for anyone. Hmm. Voxel shrubs. Um. Jaffa cups. I think I came from this direction. I think. Once again, Pathfinder tool would have been very useful. 
You would, Cosmic, you would. That's because you enjoy watching my suffering. I mean, I suppose that's why you're all here, isn't it? You just want to watch me struggle. <laughs> and who could blame you? It's very entertaining, or so I've heard. Uh, this way? This way. Maybe. Cave! This is what we wanted. Yep. Ah, we're right above it. And the question is, is there anything else in this cave? Because with this kind of structure, you would think there would be. I can probably turn that. Yeah, they've got their own light source. Don't really need the torch. Did I actually turn it off? Yes, I did. I don't know if turning it on and then taking it out of my hand actually uses power or not. Because from a realism standpoint, it would make sense. But from a like conv player convenience standpoint, it would make sense that it wouldn't. Um, doesn't look like... It. I honestly thought there would be another alien thing in here. Like, just anything. There's not like... This seems to be the bottom of the cave. There doesn't seem to be anywhere further to go down. And... There's nothing in here to investigate. You just go back up onto the island. But depending on how you've played the game, you might have already gone up to the island. Gone to the island. Which comes as a little bit of a surprise. Hmm. Can I... There's nothing to scan. Hmm. Okay. Right. Back through we go. This is when it turns out it takes us to another location entirely. Doesn't have to take its time. Uh, no, we're back where we started. Okay. I think that's what I put the uh, tablet into. Right, let's make our way out. Just in case we encounter any more of those uh, definitely not head crabs. Uh, feeling groggy at the start of the day? Yeah, I, I know the feeling. Uh, let's not jump. Jumping would be bad. Uh, this way? I think this might take us further into the cave. Please be water. Oh, thank God. <laughs> That'd have been really embarrassing if that wasn't water. Hmm. I have... I am aware of the fact that I jumped in here not knowing if I could get out. So that might not have been my finest move. Um, right. Uh, it looks like there is a way out. <laughs> There's a really big way out right here. Ah, well, at least we solved that mystery. Right, back in we go. What's this way? Dead end. Um. Apparently when I pick up gold and diamonds, it makes a ding sound. I didn't realise. Not sure how I've never noticed that. Right. Hmm. Something worth scanning. 
Blue palm. <laughs> it goes ding when there's stuff. <laughs> You can also boil an egg for up to 20 paces. Uh, you know what? Uh, ch 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 Pathfinder tool, five. <laughs> I've had to learn to keep away from chickens. Um. Oh. Cave bush. Just just a cave bush. Just a boring old bloody cave bush. Nothing interesting. Uh. Very conscious of my oxygen level. I uh, just surface very quickly. I do have a high capacity oxygen tank, yeah. Ah, it's 90 seconds. I didn't realise it was 90 seconds. Okay. Right then. What is that? A Bulbo tree sample. <laughs> and a dead end. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Let's go a bit further down. Ooh, another purple of Tableau. Take that. These things dispense some. Um, Oxygen. There we go. Oh, they're aquatic as well, apparently. Passing 100 meters. Right, we're not Oxygen going any further down. that in the wall? Is that something investigative? No, that's nothing interesting. Uh, I'm not seeing anything else down here of interest. What's up here? I'd quite like to be able to bring the sea moth in here, that's the thing. Dead end. Very conscious that I'm low on oxygen and uh, I don't see any way of replenishing it. Wait, hold on. Is that? Yes! Come on, let me surface, let me surface, let me surface. Made it! That was a little too close for comfort. <laughs> That's not the bit we want to be surfaced on. So I can't see a way to bring the sea moth in, but we'll go into it. We'll go get the sea moth, and we'll see if we, we'll circle the island, see if we can find like a a cave access point, like an underwater cave access point somewhere. Uh, right, this way. Inventory full. Oh. Um.
I'm gonna have to do it this way. Which is not ideal, but... There we go. That's more like it. And back to the Seamoth for a bit more exploration. Don't know what that is, but it's green. Uh, there's one of those warpers. We also don't like them. There's another of those warpers disappearing, apparently. Oh, that, that looks like a cave entrance. Okay, where'd it go? There. Right. Careful. Very careful. Um. Hello? Nope, nothing in there. Uh, it's very hard not to think of these as teeth now. I don't know why they feel more like teeth when I'm in the sea moth, but they do. Uh, anything this way? No. No, no. Whoa! Down. Back round. Out. Out. Okay, so there isn't actually very much in here. It doesn't look like there's any resources that... Um, aren't plants and right now we're not super interested in pan pants we're not interested in pants here <laughs> we'll have no pants here today and for those um americans in chat uh pants in the uk means underwear so uh that's a little more amusing uh we'll scan that we don't need to but it gives us a bit more titanium What is that? Uh, what is that? Stay away from that thing. Oh, these are those jelly things that make things float. This island just hasn't started floating above ground yet. Okay. Not above ground? Above surface level. What was that? Oh! just suddenly appeared next to me. Oh! We found a bit of the Aurora. I wasn't expecting this. <sighs> Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit, that terrified me. Come here. Gotcha. Right, back in the Seamoth. Back in the Seamoth. Uh, Arath... Uh, ooh. What time did I start? I started at half ten, didn't I? Um, I'll do them on the hour just because the length of the stream means doing them an hour and a half is going to be a bit redundant. Because um, the stream's going to only be two and a half hours long maximum. So I'll, I'll take a uh, break in a second. I will surface for this break. Uh, very conscious there's a lot of predators in this area. Um erosion patterns on the land masses suspended here suggest they once floated on the surface. Oh, so they've sunk. I thought they hadn't got up to the surface yet. Um Leanne Cam, uh thank you for the follow. Uh welcome in. Uh I apologize for the noise that I'm making as I constantly surface. Where's the island gone? No seriously, where the fuck is the island? 
Um, we want to go this way. Ah, it's not rendering in. That's why. You can see it in the waves. There we go. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Just not rendered in correctly. Okay, so now we know that bit of wreck is there. That's going to be interesting. Well, that's what we're going to do after our break. Um, as I move back to the island, because that's where I'm going to take my break, um, we take a break once every hour or so. Uh, I say we. I take a break once every hour or so, just so I can uh, get a stretch, rest my eyes, uh, top up my drink. Um all that wonderful stuff. Uh, I encourage you all to do the same. Um, yeah, and I will see you in five minutes or so.
And we're back. Uh, I have actually been sat here for about a minute waiting for that song to finish. I, I, I was enjoying the the chill beats after uh, the rather eerie music that is Subnautica's soundtrack. Uh, thank you, Cosmic. Thank you. I hope everyone else took a break as well and you didn't just sit there staring at the Be Right Back screen. It's not all that interesting. It's just a few words and then some green squares. Anyway, back to the game. Where's my sea moth? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> right where I parked it. Bit of silver ore, why not? Uh, can I go in? Thank you. Right. So now we are going to go back to that, s that wreck and see if there's anything new there. I don't think I've been to this wreck before. <sighs> Those things are putting me on edge. Because I know that's a predator now. And because of their nature of teleporting, they, they make me feel like... Uh... Oh, no, there's a predator. Yeah, they, they make me feel like I couldn't fight them off. Just keep swimming or, like, see them off. <laughs> what, what is the term? Is it piloting for a submarine? What is the term for a submarine? Because I don't actually know. Right, there's a predator here. <sighs> of course there is. Of course there fucking is. Um, I mean, I could fight it off, but I feel like I would lose. I'll approach from this angle. There doesn't appear to be anything over here. Um, right. We are below 100 meters, so oxygen's not going to be as good. You... 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Uh, take item. Okay. Um, nothing down here. Ooh, what are you? Power cell charger fragment. Ooh, that sounds useful. 50% uh, one of two. Let's see if we can find another part of that. That would be very helpful. I think that's part of a cyclops. Yep. Uh, oh. We don't want to do that. Oh, there's a door here. That doesn't restore oxygen. Okay. That's a radio. Uh, okay. Got a live electrical cable, so we want to avoid that. We're leaving! And that's why! Seamoth just there. In, in, in. Uh, trying to figure out where I was exploring. Uh, was it? It was in here. <laughs> I crashed into something. Oh, there's something in there. Stasis rifle fragment. Okay, that's not worth it. Right, back in here. Avoid the electrical cable. Uh... Prawn suit propulsion arm fragment. I don't know if we need this, but... No, we did. And that looks like another one. Oh, why did they take so long to scan? Where is McScrugan? I'm not actually sure. I haven't uh, seen McScrugan for a bit. Uh, I don't know if anyone else has. Um, there's something on the other side of a door. Ah, uh, do 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 Laser cutter. We're not going to get this entire door cut open. 34, 30. Leaving. 30 seconds. I think there might be a bit of back and forth whilst we explore this. Just a heads up. 
just because my oxygen's not enough to get me all the way through. I heard something there. Just... Whoa! Holy shit, you snuck up on me. It looks like when I hit 100 metres, they kind of... Never mind! <laughs> they do not break off when I hit 100 metres. Right, let's surface. Or get close to the surface, at least. Uh, no, you're the habitat builder. Why did I bring you with me? Repair tool. There we go. Right, where's the wreck? I've managed to lose the wreck. That's not the wreck. Down? Yeah, straight down. No, that's a rock. <laughs> oh, I'm jumpy. <laughs> I'm jumpy and paranoid and you might have seen me. No. They're everywhere. Yep, rocks are terrifying. Switch back to the torch, which is on 50%, duly noted. Sixty-seven, seventy-two, eight and seventy-eight. Nearly through. Oh, you're out of power. <sighs> Note to self. Recharge tools before exploring. What's in here? First aid kit. Always want the first aid kit. Storage, switch container, switch container, exchange power source. Uh, no, not yet. Go back in, replenish oxygen. Where the hell did you come from? Don't sneak up on me like that, you bastard. Right. Whoa, that was close. I nearly swam into the electrical cable. Don't want to do that. Why would I want to close the door? Okay, what are you? Prawn suit fragment. I'm fairly certain we've already got the prawn suit. Yep, we do. Come on. Be nice if I could, like, overclock the laser cutter. Just make it that bit faster, because it's very painful to watch that number tick up so slowly. And my oxygen tick down so quickly in comparison. There's also the fact that every single time I get a bit further in, swim charge fins. Yeah, every time I get a bit in, I like a bit further in, I have to um, leave even sooner, just to make sure I make it out uh, without running out of oxygen. Now, the. F I like the fact that that big creature is here, because apparently those mean there's no bad big creatures around. There's those shark things, but I've demonstrated that I can kill them with a few quick swings. Hello. Cyclops engine fragment. Pretty sure we don't need that. Inventory full. Yep, inventory full. Let's have the nutrient block. 
and move ourselves back towards the wreck. And in again. <laughs> in, out, in, out, shake it all about. Who knew we'd do the hokey cokey whilst we were here? <sighs> nearly, 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 nearly. Um, prawn suit grappling arm fragment. Okay, we'll scan that. Uh, 50%. I'm wondering if there's another way out of this place. <laughs> oh my god! <gasps> Holy shit! I didn't expect that. In case you couldn't tell, that came as a bit of a surprise. Prawn suit drill arm fragment. Okay. Yep. <sighs> oh, that got me. That really got me. Um, open storage. Disinfected water, I think. And we'll just put a few bits in there. <gasps> oh dear. Yeah, I know. I mean, it was nice that it gave us another way out. It wasn't so nice that it gave us a giant fish to go with it. Where was the... D oh, there it is. I must have been able to get in this way then. Um... Uh, right, we're going back in because it implied that there was another... <laughs> Thank you for that advice. Um, I'm not seeing anything else worth scanning in here. So we are going to beat a hasty retreat back to the Seamoth and then explore around this wreckage a bit more, I think, because we found that power cell recharge fragment. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Ten. Seven. Four. Oh! Oh! Well, we made it back. Barely. Right, this thing can go down to 300 meters, so... What the hell did I hear? That. I don't know if this thing can be fitted with offensive upgrades. Um, I wish I knew. One way or the other. Would be useful to know something like that. Come on, we want to see if we can find another one of those paracel charger things. Uh. Hold on. What's that? Is that like an undersea vent type thing? Yes, it is. Whoa! Well We're going to go back up again. Because I need to repair this again. <laughs> we'll come back down and we'll look into that cave system. Oh, they're everywhere now. They're even right up here. Oh my god, there's one on the surface. Fuck, 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 fuck. No, 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 no. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Uh, this one. Fault four. There we go. 
<sighs> I miss the island. I miss the island. That was safe. The island was safe. Sure, there was those headcrab things. But they were easy to take care of. And they kind of left me alone. These things do not leave me alone. And they're everywhere. Where's the wreck? Are you serious? I've managed to lose the wreck. Uh, hold on, it might be over here. Yeah, here it is. Stasis rifle fragment. Um. <sighs> no, that just spits us out the other side. Is that lead? No, yeah, that's lithium. Oh, this is the way out. <laughs> okay, I don't think. Although we'll go and check that other rock that the wreck is on. See if there's anything over here instead. Be nice if the sea moth had a scanner so I didn't have to get out every time I wanted to scan stuff. Uh, I'm not seeing anything. Just going to swim into some fish, I guess. Drive into some fish. Those rocks? Those are rocks. Okay. So that's the end I went in. And was there anything to go into at the other end? Doesn't look like it. No, it looks like it was all sheared off in the way in a way that means you can only go in at one end. Oh, there's a door there. Come on. Wait, hold on. This is the room we've been in. So much for that. Though I couldn't tell you why the door was shut. I left it open. Okay. Anything of interest down here? No. Some more of those shark things and not much else. This way. We're leaving. We're going home. The theme for today's stream is let's go to places we've already been. Yes, it very much is. And I have no regrets about such a thing. Alright? No regrets whatsoever. Oh, God. My, be still my beating heart. And not in the romantic way. Uh... This is a new area, I think. 
well, not exactly new. I recognise the red grass and the creatures. Okay, so we've managed to go in a circle. Uh, going the wrong way. Oh, I'm glad family friendly Jason isn't here to see this. He would not like it, not at all. I know there are hostiles here as well, but they tend to be a bit less troublesome because they tend to stick down in the in the weeds and leave me alone. Oh, I didn't know there was a bit of wreck there. Need to go the other side because the other side is where my water's at. Okay. Fairly certain that is all my water. Hoop fish. Thinking, why is the power going down? It's because it's night time and my power is a solar panel. Blueprints. Swim charge fins. Wirelessly charges your hell tool while you swim. What the hell is polyaniline? Ultra high capacity tank. Oh, I could craft that. Um. Hold on. Um. Use fabricator, personal, equipment, standard O2 tank, tools, deployables. Um, Blueprints. Modification station. I don't think I've got that. Um, is that a uh, build module? Um, let's see. Habitat builder. Five. Uh, interior pieces. Interior modules. Modification station, which requires a computer chip. Fabricator, resources, electronics, computer chip requires two table coral, a gold and a copper wire. Copper wire is two copper ore. Let's dump all this in here. Something's a train on the power! <laughs> um, something's seriously draining the power, okay. Um, that's... Bioreactor, wiring kit, titanium lubricant. I can't use the fabricator. Okay, so we're just gonna have we're gonna have to now monitor our oxygen whilst we're in here. What was it? Um, base. base um, here we are. 
Modification station. Computer chip, titanium, diamond, lead. Uh, wrong way. Lead. Computer chip, diamond. Titanium. Okay, uh, the sun must be coming up. Yep. Okay. So I just need a computer chip. Uh, computer chip is in electronics. Ta two table corals, a gold and a copper wire. Got two copper ore. No, that's not what I want. Uh, that's one. Don't mean to activate that. Take that out of my hand. There we go. Gonna need the lubricant as well. <laughs> There's always time for lubricant. Uh, and if you don't understand that reference, go and watch uh, Evolution, which is it's a bit cheesy, but it's also really good, uh, in my personal opinion. Um. So what do we need? Sorry, blueprints, computer chip, gold. That was the other thing. Gold, and we need more table coral, which we get from out here somewhere. I think this is table coral. Yes, it is. We'll take all of it because we're probably going to need more. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad someone got it, Cosmic. I'm glad someone got it. I was worried. I don't know how well known a film it is, to be honest. I, I know I enjoyed it, but I honestly have no idea how um, how, ma uh, how many people know it. Right. Um, uh, interior modules. Modification station. Okay, so it sits like that. Wrong floor. No, I didn't want to go up. Oh wait, I have a modification station. <laughs> okay. Air tank upgrades. Ultra high capacity tank. Which we've already got a thermal blade. Okay, so ultra high capacity tank and I need four lithium. I'm holding three. Of course I am. Didn't actually realise I'd already built it. Uh, lithium. Yep. Be nice if uh, these, like... Although it's in my inventory, it's not in my inventory. Did I put that on straight away? Yes, I did. Oh, that's a nice number. We like that number. <laughs> um, so who's the other suits from the other... Use fabricator, personal... Uh, stasis rifle, we need two magnetite, which I don't have any of. Still suit. Synthetic fibers, aerogel, and copper wire. Aerogel is a gel sack and a ruby. Um. I've got a ruby. I might have a gel sack in the sea moth. There might be a lot of this, I'm afraid. No, I ate it. That's annoying. Oh well. Uh, what was the other thing we wanted? A cyclops. We want to build the cyclops. Um, plas three plus steel ingots, three enameled glass, an advanced wiring kit, and three lead. 
Okay. We can also build the prawn suit, kind of. Okay. Plasteel ingot, enameled glass, and advanced wiring kits. Titanium ingots into lithium, stalker tooth, and glass. Titanium ingots is 10 titanium. And we need three. So we need 30 titanium. I'm going to have to write this down. <laughs> um, I don't have anything to write. Oh, here we go. Notepad. Get a blank page. I write so so much random stuff down. Like I've got a list of um, the stuff from How Did We Get Here. Uh, just when I was trying to figure out what stuff we were missing. Right. So let's go back down to Cyclops. So we need three plasteel ingots. Three enameled glass. Lubricant times one. An advanced wiring kit. I'm not going to write out the word advanced. And three lead. Right, now we can go back up. <laughs> Enameled glass is stalker tooth plus glass. And I'm fairly certain you need to craft glass. Yeah, it's two quarts. Okay, uh, next up, advanced wiring kit. Wiring kit. <laughs> wiring kit. Plus two gold. Plus a computer chip. Okay, wiring kit is two silver. And a computer chip is... Two table coral, gold, and copper. Copper wire. Oh, these these go on for ages. These are such... Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go for plastic ingot. That's titanium ingot and two lithium. And titanium ingot is ten titanium. Yeah, I do. I need a spreadsheet. My god, this is complicated. I don't play Satisfactory for this reason. <laughs> oh god. Um, and I'm not going to show you my notes because they're not a mess. Right. Let's start grabbing... <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Let's start by gathering the stuff that's easy to gra gather. Uh, for the re for, re for for reference, we're gathering it into our inventory, so we've got the one lubricant already. We need three lead. So we've got them. Okay. For, so we need three enameled glass. I've just written the recipe for two for glass. Is two glass? It's not. It's two quarts. So we need an advanced wiring kit. Uh, right, I've got a couple of pieces of glass. How much do I need? I need three. Um, any quarts in here? No. I can get on the way. I don't actually have enough stalker teeth. Uh, I've also got silver ore. That's good. Right. Back to here. Resources. Electronics. Wiring kit. Basic materials. Enameled glass. Enameled glass. I went, I napped, I returned. Welcome back, mini packs. It is lovely to have you here, as always. Right, so we've got the wiring kit, we need two gold and a computer chip. 
Okay. There we go. Two gold. We've got the two gold, so now we just need the computer chip. Which is another gold, the copper wire, and table car. Uh, which was in one of these. Uh, no worries. I, I know how exhausting uh, streaming can be. Uh, like It's great fun, but it's so tiring. Do I not have the... I already have a computer chip. So if I go into here, resources, electronics, advanced wiring kit. Right, we've got the advanced wiring kit. Uh, <laughs> it might be mini packs. Uh, someone find out what year evolution came out. And I will not give an exact number for my age, but I will give you a vague idea as to whereabouts. In fact, I don't need to. Mini packs and cosmic know how old I am, so if we've got the year, then they can actually tell us if it's a similar age to me or not. Uh, what are we making? Cyclops. Right? That's what we're making. Yes. So we need the plasteel ingots now. So, I need three of them. So I need six lithium. Okay, none in that. One, two, three... And then maybe in here. Four, five, six. That is all my lithium. Uh, and I'm also going to pull all the titanium out. Don't need that. Uh, silver. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh god, I need 30. I've got eight. 2001, okay. So I'm older than the film, just not by very much. Oh dear. Um, right, I know we saw a bit of over there. A bit of over there. And I can pick it up and... Can anyone see any bladder fish? I mean, by the time you tell me you can see it, you're, it's going to have gone, but I'm conscious that I'm running out of water. There's one. Come here, bladderfish. I don't want another stream where I'm just swimming around chasing after bladderfish again. I've done that before. It doesn't make for particularly riveting content. Sustenance water. Uh, resources, basic materials, titanium. Sorry, just muted myself while I had a drink. So we can get a titanium ingot. And that left us with two. Uh, what am I doing? I'm trying to get the Cyclops, which is, if I go into here, scroll all the way down again, this thing. Vast industrial use submarine. But it's quite expensive, as you can see. Now, we've got everything in green. Surprise, surprise, we've already got. We need the plastic ingots. We need the enamel glass. One more of the enamel glass. Now, if I go back up, plastic ingots require a titanium ingot and two lithium. The problem here is the titanium ingot, because that needs 10 titanium, so I need 30 in total. I had 12, and that's because I went out to get some more. So, <laughs> oh dear, uh, resources, basic materials, plasteel ingot. Apparently we can craft a pipe and a floating air pump. Just out of curiosity, um, interior pieces, bioreactor requires three titanium and a wiring kit. 
Hold on, I've got opens open storage. Lead, salt, cave sulfur, lubricant, depleted nuclear rod. That storage is empty. Okay. Um, so I need quartz. I'm going to have to go back in and make notes of another thing. That's the bioreactor. So bioreactor. Three titanium. Wiring kit. Lubricant. And the wiring kit is two silver. So I need more titanium. Lots more titanium. And a bit more uh, silver. Uh, okay. Oh, I forgot this thing charges when it's back in base. Uh, I know I've got in and then immediately got out, but I saw a bladder fish. Uh, actually, I haven't been in this cave since near the start. Acid mushroom. Oh, explodey fish, explodey fish, explodey fish, explodey fish. Rats. I'm looking for the ore deposits that generate on the sides. I'd rather be doing this in daytime. I hate using my battery. So, uh, what does the explodey fish do? Um, nothing much. It's a bit like a creeper, but more annoying. Because I, uh, a creeper you can outrun. Those things I have uh, not been able to. Data bank, geological data, limestone, titanium and copper source. Do these provide water on their own? No, they actually, I actually lose water if I eat a bladder fish. That's rather interesting. Okay. Hmm. I think we're going to have to go further afield. Uh, and see There we go. <laughs> that sound will never not be funny. Oh, gee. I've just crashed into my own base. <laughs> the sound of the fish just slapping into the side of the seamoth is never going to stop making me laugh. It's just so ridiculous. Okay. Fabricator. Sustenance. Uh, I'm conscious that I am taking the power down because it is night. But I need the water. Uh... We're also going to need to kill a stalker. Okay. Right, let's go to the vine forest. See if we can't kill ourselves a stalker. Right, vine forest is... Uh, vine forest is this way. And if we see any scrap metal, we are going to grab it. Because we need the titanium. And if we see anything we can scan, we're also going to scan that. Because we need the titanium. Have I gone the wrong way? I feel like I've gone the wrong way. Because I'm fairly certain this the vine forest isn't after this. Uh, 
Uh, maybe it's this way. Sand shark. Oh, I thought I saw something. Guess I was mistaken. Uh, oh, a bit of wreck. There might be some scrap around here. Yes, there is. Passing 100 meters. Yes, but I've got so much oxygen now that I can play. Propulsion cannon fragment. I've already got a propulsion cannon, so that'll give me a bit of titanium. Uh, uh, that's nothing to repair. Um... Battery charger fragment. We'll take that. Um, that noise is worrying. We've got a mobile vehicle base, so that's a bit more titanium in the bank. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten. So that's another one. Oh, my inventory's full. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Please don't be something attacking the sea moth. No, it's you. Piss off. Salvage. Oh, I should have saved the first aid kit. There we go. Uh, wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven. Eleven plus four is. Uh, I can't do quick maths. Uh, what's 11 plus 4? 15. So we need 5 more. Okay, we can work with that, and I need to replenish my oxygen. <laughs> of course I do. Move this a bit close to the door. Welcome back, Storm Dance. I hope you had a good look. Just in time to watch me uh, probably end up killing myself. I'm trying to use the repair tool. Whoops. Probably don't want to fix the door. Because it's a sealed door. The last thing we need is to make it more sealed. So I need five more. Reasonably productive. Good. Glad to hear it. I'm cutting open a door. I'm trying to find more titanium because, well, I need it. Um, disinfected water. I'm just going to consume that outright. That was two more, so we only need three more. But we have no inventory space. Ah. Oh. Data bank, lightweight high capacity tank, tech already in PDA. I mean, what did that give me as a result? I can't get, I'm catching on something. Seriously, the thing that that's supposed to give me is actually out of reach. I, I'm not able to get any closer. Uh, and there's no way for me to have a no-clip. <sighs> That's fucking ridiculous. Passing 
passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Uh, vehicle upgrade console. Don't have that. New blueprint acquired. Uh. We're gonna have to come back. Uh, through here. Through here. I'm fairly certain this thing's storage is full as well. No, it's not. Uh, ignore that last message. Uh, I was ignoring the nether message. I assumed that was directed at someone else. I didn't know who, but... Uh, it didn't really matter. To, well, it, okay, no, it probably matters to you whoever you, and whoever you're talking to, but it's not significant for us here in this stream right now. Okay, just spit me out, why don't you? Uh, I'm curious as to where that thing is. There it is. Pick up to 10 inventory full. Um, I'm just going to push through. I'm just going to push through. Um, I might not go all the way until one o'clock. Uh, I'm going to see how far I can get with crafting this Cyclops. Um, ideally, if I can finish it, great. But not the end of the world if not. Uh, meant for world edit and a creative. Uh, fair enough, fair enough. Ah, here's the kelp forest. Right. So, if I turn around... Uh, so, we're currently going southwest. So, we want to go... We want to be going northeast from the base. Because that's the opposite of southwest. Get close enough so it picks me up. There we go. Woo! And I immediately fell back in the water. <laughs> I am a professional. Use fabricator. Resources. Titanium. Titanium. Titanium ingot. Plastic linger. Oh, uh, well, that is the question. Right, that's two plastic ingots. Uh, wrong side. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm too short. I've apparently got a load more blueprints. 19, well, I mean, cured hoop fish, okay. Um, what else have I got? The Seamoth Depth Module Mark II. Seamoth Depth Module Mark Three. It's Magnetite again. Um, and a Prawn Soup Depth Module Mark II. They would be good to have. Um, if you say so, Cosmic. If you say so. Um, Seamoth Torpedo System. I like the sound of that. Uh, perimeter Defense System, but that requires this... Vortex Torpedo Gas Torpedo. Um, Seamoth Sonar. Um, so I could make a solar charger. 
I'm not going to, but I could do it. Uh, and Seamoth. Northeast. And if we go this whoop, this way, then we should also come across a stalker at some point, so I can get the stalker tooth. Oh! Never mind. Don't need to even go all the way. Um. Right. That's salt. We want quartz if we see it. But I'm not actually sure where quartz is primarily found. It's the only down, sir. Okay, killing you didn't give me a stalker tooth. So I guess I don't kill you to get them? Silver ore? Uh, inventory fall. <laughs> Be advised, a common complication for cave divers is loss of orientation, followed by eventual asphyxiation. Uh, well, I appreciate that advice now, after I've been caving on several occasions. Ah! Uh, path, path, find a tool. Five. Going the wrong way. Um, going the wrong way again. I've lost my bearings. Right, there's the main hab. <laughs> See him off his right here. How do I get to open storage? Stalker tooth. There we go. Clear notes. Losing one's bearings best is losing one's bearings better or worse than losing one's marbles? I think I'm gonna have to call it night. Been modding uh, since Elkin stream. No worries, Cosmic. Yeah, you've been going a while. Uh, you take a, a nice long rest and sleep, and I'm sure I will see you tomorrow. Uh, losing one's bearings better or worse than losing one's marbles? I think I'd rather lose my marbles, because then at least I still know where I am. Sort of. Uh, yeah, Cosmic, you are absolutely fantastic, and I cannot show you enough appreciation for how amazing you are. Um, mini packs. Would you be able to please check who is currently live and might still be live within the next 20 minutes? Um, I'm I'm looking at Minecraft streamers just because um, Subnautica has a plot that I don't want to spoil for myself or anyone who's unfamiliar with the game and is following it with us. Um, so I am going to just send us back round to Minecraft. Ideally, someone we know. But if there's someone who we don't normally raid who's live, then um, especially if they're a smaller channel, happy to send people to a smaller channel. 
Got to show those uh, growing channels some love. Right. So we've got the three plastic ingots now. We don't have the three enameled glass, but I need another piece of quartz. It is literally just another another piece of quartz, and then we're good to go. Um, data bank. And now it's night. Well, that's helpful. I don't know where quartz is found. Right. It's not going to make for particularly riveting content to watch me try and figure out where quartz is found. So I am going to Google it. Quartz is illuminated and making it easy to spot. At night. Okay. Um, it's found in the safe shallows. And we're in the safe shallows. Okay. Awesome. Right. I want... To, oh. No. There we go. The smallest one I have live is just outside that. I have Griffin, Bird, Softcraft all look live and going. Okay. Um, so the only names I recognise that are Griffin and Soccer. Um, and I don't think I've raided Soccercraft before. I think I've only ever raided Griffin. Um, what are uh, Griffin and Soccer up to? Just out of curiosity. Because uh, it's not Sunday, so it won't be Griffin's... Um, Tall. Oh, explodey fish, explodey fish, explode. Explodey fish. But I have seen. There we go. Quartz. Uh, bladderfish. Come here, bladderfish. Oh, I accidentally cooked you. Oh, one ran away. Oh, well. Welcome aboard, Captain. This way. Didn't even have to go that far. I could probably have just swam that. And up we go. Griffin is building Sky Station. Sokka is doing something with redstone by the looks of it. Um... I think we'll go with Griffin, just because um, Griffin's Halcyon Heights, and we like to keep things uh, close. We like to be close with them. Uh, I don't think they realise that. Um, I'm sure some do. Hello, Ginger. Um, but I'm not sure if most of them realise that we've kind of, like, made ourselves uh, adjacent to them almost. Uh, right. So that should now... Three plastil ingots. Three enamelled glass. One lubricant. One advanced wiring kit and three lead. Exit base. I think I want to be on here for this. Use vehicle bay. Vehicles. Cyclops. Must be constructed in deeper water. Okay! <laughs> Um. Uh, right. Yeah, pretty much that is pretty much what we're doing. No, I didn't want to climb on board. I want pack up mobile vehicle bay. There we go. Um, I don't know what it considers deep enough. 
let's try over here. Uh, sign to slot one. Okay. Right. Let's put that back in slot one. Pack up mobile vehicle bay. Slot five. I'm gonna head back to the Seamoth and uh, there should be a Halcyon Heights command mini packs if you want to just um, give the entire server a shout out because they are most of them are friends of our of the various. Um, in residence streams uh, and whilst you're at it um, why don't we tell people all about our new discord server uh, it's uh, heights I think uh, the command f uh, that I've got um, we've also got a discord server <laughs> uh, myself Elkhorn and Minipax my fellow streamers um, have set up our own discord server the finite Inn, and I encourage you all to go over there and join in um, we've already had lots of wonderful people join us there, uh, but there's always room for more. Uh, avoid that stalker. We've already killed one of its brethren. I wonder if this is deep enough. Again, I don't know what it considers deep enough. Oh, it didn't like that. <laughs> Be advised, the Cyclops is... Be advised, the Cyclops is designed to be operated by three... HOLY SHIT! Only experienced helm people should attempt to pilot this vehicle solo. Holy, holy shit. I knew it was gonna be big, but this isn't what I had in mind. Right, uh, first things first, so I don't lose it. Uh, pack up mobile vehicle bay. Uh, yeah, also, you now have a new base that moves. Bulkheads are interesting. Uh, climb ladder. Power cells. Cyclops, Cyclops upgrade fabricator. Okay. No vehicle docked. It's got a moon pool? Wow. This is... This is something else. Um... I assume that uses more power. Uh. <laughs> it's got a foghorn! Ooh, listen to that purr. I 
And it's actually got a sonar. That's brilliant. Oh. Oh, it gets dark if you turn off the internal lights. How do you turn them back on again? Wow. <gasps> oh, this. I feel like a kid at Christmas. I really do. Okay. Uh, well, that's what I'm wondering. Can I put the little sub in? Because it feels like it's the wrong shape. Um. Let's close the bulkheads. Um. Okay, so I can climb this ladder to get straight into the cockpit. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's close all the bulkheads because that might be a requirement for putting a vehicle in here. Uh, there is no bulkhead there. Okay. Uh, we'll close that one. Uh, right, uh, where is Seamoth? I know my voice has got super high pitched. I don't care. being cautious because I don't particularly want to crash it as soon as I've got it but I also would rather have it nearer my base and I'm not 100% certain on how big it is yet Oh, great! There's a camera called Screw! <laughs> Keel, Conning Tower, which appears to be the surface camera, and Screw. Oh, Screw, he's going to be so happy. Alright, uh, I was going this way. I don't know what that symbol that appeared... And then I go through here. I'll leave that open when I'm not using it. Oh, I can access it through. I can access its upgrade modules through here. And the storage. Awesome. And I can check its health and its power.
Oh my god, that is... That is so cool! Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to just go in... As normal. Because then... As a precautionary measure, I'm going to turn everything off. And shut everything. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, God, I'm so happy with that. That was such a good way to end the stream. Uh, so, next Subnautica stream... We are going to be making, if I can find it, the prawn suit! <laughs> because I am now hyped for vehicles. Uh, this is going to be a little harder, I think. Uh, mainly because of the aerogel. Um, but I look forward to it. Anyway, we're going to go somewhere quieter for this bit. It's too noisy over there. Right, everyone. Thank you. For coming along it has been wonderful to have you all here uh, i have had a great time uh, there were a few scary moments a few very scary moments but uh, in the end it was fantastic um i have been hunter triple five uh you can follow me on twitter at hunter triple five um that's where i post when i'm going live um and where i've raided people too so you can check out other awesome streamers um, I often stream from Infinity Cove, Joel Duggan's uh, Patreon Minecraft server, which you can check out on his Patreon, uh, the $10 tier. Uh, what else? I have a Discord server. Well, I share a Discord server with Elkhorn95 and Minipex84. They are both wonderful people, uh, and you should definitely come and join us at the Finite Inn. Uh, you can get Subnautica on Steam or, I believe, Epic Games. Uh, Minipex, if you do, bang sub. You should get the Subnautica command. I think I put it in the stream title. I could be wrong. Uh, I now have an official stream schedule. Uh, that can be found either in the Finite in Discord in the schedule channel or on the schedule tab of my Twitch channel. Um, next stream should, fingers crossed, assuming stuff with family doesn't get in the way, should be tomorrow, uh, Sunday, still on Infinity Cove, maybe. I'm not 100% clear on who is available because I know Elkhorn's busy. I can't remember if anyone else is available, though. Uh, so possibly going ahead, possibly I will try and find something personal to do. Uh, and then personal Infinity Code stuff on Monday. I'm going to be... How do I... First... I'm going to be starting a new survival uh, build there. But it's going to be a, a survival base. So I'm taking a few bits from my current base and then not using that for anything else. That is the plan anyway. Hopefully it all goes well. Um, Wednesdays will be Return of the Obra Dinn, uh, Because I absolutely want to continue with that game. Uh, and then Saturdays of course. Uh, Subnautica After Dark. Uh, the times are all on the Discord and on the schedule page. So if you need to know times just check them out there. They should be converted to local time zones. Um, fellow streamers that have been in chat. I've seen Minipax's name. I've seen Cosmic's name. They're both awesome streamers. You should definitely check them out. I think I saw Ginger earlier uh, and Elkhorn, who I've mentioned a few times. Uh, there are others, of course. Um, my fellow uh, streamers from Infinity Cove and the streamers on Halcyon Heights. All wonderful, wonderful people. Now, I believe I will be sending you all over to Griffin Prime. Uh, we've raided him a few times. He's a member of Halcyon Heights. He's awesome. And is working on his Sky Station, I believe you said, mini packs. So I'm going to send you all over there. Be wonderful, be amazing, be kind. Uh, and I will hopefully see you all tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Whilst I remember, raid message, 
Hashtag Hunter Raid, Howling at the Moon. I knew I'd forgotten something. <laughs>